Welcome back, everybody. It's Pal World, and thank you so much for joining me. I do appreciate you letting me steal some time as you watch my playthrough of Pal World. Thank you so much. It is episode four, I believe, and we are going to spend some points, because I did get us leveled up. I'm going to put some into weight, and I'm going to put some into health. I'm going to hit OK. We also have some new technologies which we needed to advance. So we're going to get the primitive furnace. I'm going to get the three-shot bow. I'm going to get the armor as well. And I want to get the feathered band. We need nails. We needed the furnace to uh, continue on in order to upgrade. So in order to upgrade, we need to build a furnace and build the hot springs. So let's go ahead and see if we have what we need for that. We need some stone. I'm sure that we've got plenty of stone over here. Went and got all of the uh, pals that we needed to complete the quest. Oh yeah, we've got a lot of stone in here. And now I'm way too heavy. So hold on here. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and get half of this stack. I'll drop it. And then, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and build what we need to build. I want to build the furnace. Where should I build the furnace now? Uh, I'm going to keep it outside, so I guess I'll build it right here, right along here. Let's go ahead and plop this down. All right, this isn't very much. Put that right there. And we need to build a hot spring as well. And I need PAL fluids for that. I think the way you get PAL fluids is you get these guys right here. Yeah, you get PAL fluids from the water pals. So we need to get a couple of water pals and get some PAL fluids so we can make a hot spring. So I hope everybody's having a good day and a good weekend. This is uh, the end of the weekend for me as I record this. Heading back to work tomorrow. Oh, that guy is really running. I need as many of these water guys as I can get. I need some PAL fluid. So this is a new area. Let's check this out. Okay, walking over here. This is a settlement over here as well. Look at this. I love this. This looks like uh, fall. All right, so I need a water pal. He's running up here, but we might as well uh, push through here as well. We've got mushrooms we can collect, but I've got plenty of food on me. Just going to be uh, trying to get as many of these as I can. Oh, this guy's taking care of business. Very good. Yeah, so I got this guy during the uh, checkoff uh, of collecting pals. I got my first, uh, whatever this guy is called, Nightwing. So yeah, he's only a level 9 right now, but uh, I want to level him up and get a saddle for him. And uh, yeah, he'll be my first flying creature. But, ah, yeah, there we go. There we go. I need you right there. Got him. All right, he should take care of that. There we go. All right, excellent. I hope you guys are enjoying the game. I am definitely enjoying the game. It is such a blast, man. This game is awesome. Uh, uh, the only thing I wish is once you arm yourself, is there a way to uh, put it away without firing it? And there isn't as far as I can see. So once you uh, equip yourself, you're kind of stuck. Uh, the other thing I'm getting is I'm getting a lot of money over in the uh, base because I've got one of those cats just kind of hanging out there. Let's see what we have here for pal. All right, I think we need, we have six, now we have eight. Let's see if we can get a couple of more to make sure. Let's, uh, I, actually I can just build this to see how many we need. All right, we need ten. So we've got to, we've got to get uh, two more for sure. I wonder if they sell it over here in this village. It's a village right here, the small settlement. Uh, I've already gone ahead and opened it up. This is what I'm looking forward to, and we can get geared up like this. Uh, you know, so many, uh, so many fun things that we can be doing in this game, and we barely scratch the surface, I believe. Let's talk to this guy. This guy's got um, stuff we can buy and sell. Uh, I don't see any pal juice. So uh, this is good to know. You know, this little place is right here. We've got a fast travel point to it. But yeah, I still need to get some of that, uh, couple of more of those PAL fluids. So let's head back to the base. See if we can find a couple of more water creatures. Oh, we've got some right up here. We've got two elephants. I think these qualify as uh, water PALs as well. Tag him. Tag him. There we go. 
That gives us power fluid. So that gives us enough power fluid. Let's go ahead and make the uh, hot springs and let's upgrade the base one more time. And then I think what we should do is go fight the first boss. We're level 11. It's level 11. We've got a bunch of pals that I think can handle it. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's put their hot springs right over here. We'll put it right here. Still, oh, stone. <laughs> I believe we can get some of that uh, without a doubt. Plenty of stone. I have it right here, as a matter of fact. There we go. That should be enough stone, 48. So, yeah, thank you so much, everybody. The comments that you've been giving me are very, very helpful, like as far as the build here. So I can just hit this, and let's go ahead and spin this around, and we'll put it right here like this, just like this. Boom. All right, so let me help these guys out. We'll get this built, and then we'll go ahead and upgrade the base. Uh, we'll let the night go by, and in the morning, we'll go head out, and we'll we'll find the level 11 boss. See if we can take care of that. Still trying to get an ancient point. Uh, hopefully, getting one of those little mini bosses will uh, get us one of those points as well. All right, so now we can upgrade. Let's go ahead and upgrade. All right, there's another base upgrade, base level eight. And we can bring another pal down here. I think I'm going to bring the other cat so I can get more money. Let that cat go hang out over there and make me more money. And I've got to make a new bed. All right, that takes care of all the pal needs. Let's just go ahead and uh, let this nighttime pass. And we're going to go right over here and take care of this chillet. All right, it's the morning time. Let's go ahead and head out and see if we can tackle this boss. And uh, yeah, this will be awesome. This will be the first time I've done this. So we head this way and we should be able to find this. Oh, we've got a shiny. Look at this. I don't think this is the boss. This is a lucky. I've got to get this guy. Where this is a lucky. Check this out, everybody. Can we get him? We gonna get another lucky one? Here we go. All right. I loved. I thought I heard those wind chimes. That's awesome. All right. Let's go see. Okay, we want to head this way. That is awesome. Now, who do I want? I want to capture this mini boss as well. So I don't want my guy to kill it. So I bring this. I bring this out. This is a level ten. The guy we're after is a level eleven, and he should be over here somewhere. And I think I see him. I do believe I see him. This is him. All right, I want to try to get this guy. I don't want him to die. And uh, I also am going to try this arrow and these arrows. So we'll try that and see how that works. I do not... I guess we can... I guess he respawns, though. We can always come back and get him. I just don't want him to get uh, destroyed. All right, he's getting down there. All right. Got to be careful here. All right, we're... we're oh, oh, now's the time to get him. Ah! Oh, I didn't want that. I didn't want to kill him. Oh, well. All right, he respawns though, right? I should be able to get him. I wanted to capture him. I guess uh, I'm, I'm still learning. Oh, well. Okay, well, that takes care of the boss fight. <laughs> or the little mini boss, but I, ah, I wanted him so badly. I have to figure out. I should have pulled him back and then threw the ball. But uh, yeah, anyway, see something shiny over here. Let's bring him back in. He got a little uh, beat up and we'll pull out, uh, pull out this guy. 
Yeah, so, uh, yeah, thanks, guys, uh, for uh, helping me out with the game the way you guys are. I really do appreciate it. And, uh, look, if you're enjoying the videos at all and, uh, you know, my game, my, my stumbling gameplay, my work, my working man gameplay helps you out in any way, please hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. I'd like to uh, like to do more of these uh, episodes. I really enjoy the game. I know the game is being played by everybody under the sun, but, you know, we're playing it without trying to uh, figure out the game ahead of time. I'm trying to discover it as I go, and the only uh, help I want is from uh, my community, and that's it. I don't want to look things up. I just want to, uh, to be able to play the game, enjoy the game, explore the game, and have fun with you guys. All right, so now we've got that done. Let's take a look at what we have to do here. So that's checked off, defeated. Boy, I'm really hoping he uh, responds, and uh, let me know if you guys know if that's the case. I also, I'm trying to figure out what level I should be before I do take on uh, the tower. And I don't even know what that means, taking on the tower, to be honest with you. Got some arrows right here. I'll pick those up. All right, let's go back to the base and uh, let's see what we need in order to upgrade the base further at this point. And I want to see what does the furnace do? Are we going to be able to start getting better uh, weapons here? What's going on? So let's take a look at the base upgrades. We need to build a medieval medicine workbench. All right. And we need to build a high quality workbench. We have stats. So let's go ahead and spend some of these stats. I'm going to throw it into a uh, carry weight. All right, threw that point into carry weight because that's what we need. And let's go ahead and look at our technology. All right, so we need to, we need the high quality workbench and we need the medieval workbench. And I believe that just took all of our uh, points. Now I do have one point for ancient technology. So we should probably get this one right here. The egg incubator. Yes. Okay, that's great. So let's see. What else do we have here? We've got one point left over. We've already got the nails. We've got the harness for... Uh... Oh, this guy gets a submachine gun? Are you kidding me? We've got to make ingots? What about this guy? He gets an assault rifle? And we just have to make ingots. Oh my god. I, I am so getting... That last point right into that monkey's assault rifle. I don't know if I did the right thing or not, but that's what I'm doing. Let me tell you that right now. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the build menu real quick and see what we have. I do have cultivation parts, I guess. All right, what else here? All right, here's the high quality workbench. We need nails and ingots. And the medieval workbench, we need nails. So it looks like we have to go over here to the furnace at this point. And also, let's go ahead and change up our uh, our lineup here. Well, I'm going to have to take out the cat for now. And I'm going to need to put in this guy so that he can run this furnace. And let's see what we have here. Oh, we can make ingots. And we can make charcoal. So let's go ahead and make the ingots. Max, start production. All right, he should get on that. All right, excellent. So how many ingots do I need now in order to complete this task? Let's take a look here. I'm going to go ahead and throw this down because I have it. I don't know where I want to put these. I guess I'm just going to put them in here for now. Because they need to be by a warming source. I do know that. So you need to put down a campfire around it. So maybe I'll just put it right here since I already have a campfire here. So we'll put this right here. I don't know where the opening is. Maybe right there. There we go. Because I do have an egg I want to throw in here and get it incubated. Discover what this is all about. This is going to be awesome. All right. There's our first incubator. Let me go grab an egg. I do have an egg over here in my chest. So let me grab one of these. And which one do we want to do? The large damp egg or the large dark egg? Let's do the large dark egg. See what we get with that one. This will be our first egg. I am hungry. I can see that. I get it. I'm hungry. I'm going to eat right now. All right. Let me eat real quick here. What do I have for food? I have this. There we go. 
All right, so that's going to take 39 minutes. It's uh, just a little hot. Seems just a little hot. Incubation speed plus 50%. All right, this is too close to the fire. Is that what's going on here? So let me go ahead and go into my destruction mode here. Get rid of that. Seems very comfortable. All right, that's good. I think it's at night you have to worry about that. Uh, for the heat, I'm not sure. But anyway, this will put the fire over here. And that way we still have a place to cook. Uh, I don't know. Do you get like a stove eventually? Or is this it? This little fire right here. I hope you get a stove at some point. I don't like the fireplace because the pals walk through it and they catch on fire. They seem a little lethargic. I already got that done. Do I have any food I can cook? Yeah, let's go ahead and cook this egg. All right, we've got seven ingots now. And now we're going to want to start mining the uh, the metals now around here. So let's go ahead and grab those ingots and go into our build menu and let's see what we need here. All right, so we need to get the nails made. And let's see, the medieval medicine needs nails. I want to get this high quality workbench done. So we need a lot more uh, resources to get this done. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to definitely... We're going to have to make ingots, and then I think we're going to have to turn ingots into... Take those arrows, cancel this, and let me see. Can I make nails? Yes, I can. All right, so max production on nails would be seven. So I'm going to go ahead and make 14 nails. I need exactly... I need exactly 10 and five. So I need 15 nails, so that's not going to be too bad. But then I also do need... 15 ingots for the high quality workbench and we just need fragments so this is very doable so i'm going to go ahead and uh grab that stuff real quick and uh i'll be right back i'm just going to go grind it off camera and we'll continue because i want to get those built and then uh upgrade the base one more time and i think that'll be a good place to uh end the episode so be right back all right, that wasn't hard to get everything done. So let's go ahead and build the high quality bench. And I'm going to put that right here, right next to this bench and flip it around here. All right, high quality bench. What do we get with the high quality bench now? I definitely want to build this. So I'm going to go ahead and have them build that real quick. All right, we'll put this right here by the window. All right, let's see what this does. Oh, look at this. We can make high-grade medical supplies right off the bat. You make that with ingots, horns, and bones. All right, and what does that do? That uh, affects treating weakened and depressed. They do not heal health. Okay, uh, they do not heal health medical supplies. And then low-grade medical supplies, good for colds and sprains. Uh, wow, so nothing to raise your health? That's pretty wild. All right. Well, okay. It is what it is. Uh, I guess I guess it's something. Uh, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and acquire our little hat here. And then uh, where does that go now? Does that just automatically go on my head? It does. Gives me a defense of 15 and a health of 60. That's awesome. What else can I build over here? Okay, we've got these outfits. I'm going to go ahead and build both of these outfits. And uh, yeah, looks like uh, until we get some more recipes... I don't know uh, what else happens, but now we should be able to upgrade and we can go ahead and add more pals to the base. Let's go ahead and what do we need for our next upgrade? Build a cooler box and build a sphere workbench. Oh, all right. That's awesome. I guess that's how we get different levels of the spheres. That's going to be great. All right. So let's go ahead and put our lucky guy out here because he's so awesome that we found. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and... Uh, check him out real quick and yeah let's think of a name for this guy i already went and named the uh the the uh the fox my fox where is he yeah there he is i named him lucky because well he was the first one we got and he's lucky so uh if you guys have any ideas what we might name this lucky one uh drop them in the comments and uh if you've enjoyed the video please don't forget to hit the like button and we're trying to grow the channel this is the working man playthrough work all day and play all weekend so here we go folks thank you so much for joining me do appreciate the support that i've been getting ta-ta and bye-bye